Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. The sun is coming up, and I'm going turkey hunting. I'm with my buddy Wesley this morning that owns Omega here in town. I'm at our uh, our other ranch here in Meridian, Texas. He's been seeing a few turkeys around, so I called him up the other day and asked him if he wanted to go turkey hunting. And he's never really turkey hunted before. He's never shot a turkey, he said. So I'm going to see if I can't call him a turkey in and uh, get him on his first turkey. Last year, I shot one here open in morning. I shot him in the first 15 minutes of open in morning, so that was pretty cool. Hopefully, that'll happen again today, but we'll see what happens. So I'm following Wesley up here. We're going to hunt the back of the ranch, and uh, that's where he's been seeing them. So I'll see you guys when we get set up. Kill him. Kill him. What do you think about that, Wesley? First turkey ever, man. Heck yeah, dude. You're done with the mullet, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's a good old Tom, man. Oh. Good shooting. Man, that was exciting. That's. You hooked now or what? Oh, let me tell you. That is fun. Let me get my hat situated. Dude, that's a big tom. The walk that we did to what? back to the same place we started this morning. What do you think about that, guys? That's pretty cool. That was fun right there. Big old gobbler. He was hot, boy. Look at that beard. <laughs> Wesley got him his first big old tom, dude. Congrats. Thanks, brother. Yep. Oh, man, look at this guy. Man. Good God. This thing was like, man. That's a good one, dude. Not bad for the first one, huh? Heck yeah. That's a pretty bird right there. All right, guys, it is like, let's see what time it is. 8.24 and uh, smoked us a big old Tom. I think we might hunt a little bit more. I'm gonna see if I can't get on one and uh have wesley be behind the camera for a minute but man that's a pretty bird two-year-old bird got some decent spurs got a big beard about a nine inch beard that is awesome big old red head he is hot and ready 
Well, we're gonna head back to the truck, try to find a blue bonnet patch on the way in, take a cool picture with him. These are, uh, so I'm using, this is the Avian X uh, strutter. Y'all were asking in the last turkey video that I did. This is the Avian X strutter, and I am gonna put a real fan in it. I just didn't wanna put any of my big Tom fans in it. I'm gonna wait to shoot a Jake and uh, put a fan in there that I don't really care about. <laughs> huge huh yeah wesley in his old ghillie suit <laughs> well guys i'm sorry i didn't get to uh explain really what the situation was so we that was a, where we shot that bird where wesley shot the bird is where we started first thing this morning called um called a little bit didn't hear anything so we just took off walking, calling every 100, 150 yards. And we get about probably 300 yards from where we started and we hear a gobble back where we started. So we're like, okay, we set up. He kept gobbling back, but it was getting further and further. And so we didn't know what to do. So decided to pack up and head his way and see if he'd get a little more interested if we got a little closer. So we got up and got about 10 yards from where we uh, parked the trucks this morning and he just gobbled. We didn't call or nothing. So we set up and he literally came in within two minutes just strutting and oh man, it was a fun time. I'm glad I got to get Wesley on his first bird. We're gonna go eat some breakfast real quick and then we're headed to do a shop, it's in town. I'm gonna go look at some new uh, sissy sticks that he's got coming up. So I'll see you guys at the shop. That ain't no turkey. Okay guys, made it to Wesley's shop and uh, I'm not supposed to talk about the G word a whole lot on the YouTube so go to my Instagram and the next post that I post will be a giveaway of these two guys right here. So, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but we're going to do a giveaway. Wesley wanted to do a giveaway for uh, those two things right there. And, uh, yeah, just go to my Instagram, check it out, and we'll figure out a way to enter and stuff like that. Well, after uh, getting about 30 miles down the road, Wesley calls me and told me I left my camera at his shop. So I had to get all the way back to his shop to get it. But, uh, Wesley, let me take his bird. He's never cleaned one or anything, so he said I could have the meat and everything. But that was pretty fun that got to get Wesley on his first bird. So take this guy in the shop and clean him up. And I think I'm going to make jerky out of him. So same as before, clean it just like I clean all the turkeys. Take his beard right there under, you can tell where that skin meets. And just... Cut his beard off. It's a good beard. Eight or nine inches. And uh, you take your tail fan. And that's your fan right there. Like I said in the last video, take these, you can take these back feathers out. But I am gonna do, a bunch of you commented and requested that I do a, uh, a video on how to preserve the fan. So I will, I'll do that video soon and show you guys how to clean these up and uh, make them stay to where they're like this. Pretty cool to hang on your wall or collect them or whatever you wanna do with them, but I think they're pretty neat. I'm gonna take some of these feathers as well and uh, Make some flies at them, go fly fishing with them. Then you just take your breast out and your legs. Cut right there. There's like a they have like a bald spot on their chest. 
I don't know if y'all can see that, but just a little bald spot on their chest. That's where you make your cut, and then uh, and then just run it down either side. There you go. Here's your big old turkey breast. One half of a turkey breast. Knock off this other side. And there's your other half right there. Big old hunk of meat. Now the legs. Ow! He had cactus in him. Got me. So I'm going to take the thigh with the leg this time. My Nana got mad at me last night at dinner because I didn't keep the thighs on it. So I'm going to bring these to you, Nana. You can make me some turkey soup. There's your leg, your turkey drum, and your thigh connected to it. Chop that off, and there's your thigh and your leg. Pop these spurs off real quick. So I'm going to knock this other leg off, and then I'll see you guys in the kitchen. We're going to make some turkey jerky. Alright guys, so I got all the meat cleaned up and I cut off as much fat as I could and uh, feathers and all that stuff of course. So now what I'm going to do is just take it and uh, cut it into like really thin beef jerky, what you would want for uh, beef jerky. Okay, so I got the turkey all cut up into thin strips. Sorry if you hear a bunch of noise in the back. They're building my office right now. So, got some uh, low sodium soy sauce, full bottle of that, and then a little bottle of liquid smoke. So I usually do half and half. This is my dad's old recipe for regular deer jerky or beef jerky. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this whole bottle in just cause it's smaller. And uh, and then about half of this bottle of soy sauce. Pop that lid off. Yeah, I'll put a little more than half. That's alright. So I'm just going to mix this around. Let it get into all the meat. Normally we let our, our jerky sit overnight in the marinade, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna take uh, probably half of this out and uh, dehydrate it so it'll be done by tonight. It should take around six hours. Five to six hours is what I'm thinking, but it's kinda just, you just watch it and see what it does and pull it off whenever you think it's ready. There's no really, there's not really science to this jerky making. And I have never, I've never made the jerky with wild turkey, so I'm really interested to see on how this tastes. All right, so this turkey has been soaking for a couple hours. I'm gonna take out a, a full tray. I just have one of these cheap, I think it's like 100 bucks, 150 bucks maybe at Cabela's. Dehydrator, it's got four trays. And um, you can get them at Walmart. I would like to get a big one, but they're pretty they're pretty pricey. So what I do is take these pieces of meat and lay them on a paper towel and just kind of dab them off and dry them up a little bit. Get a stack of them. Just kind of get all that. You don't want them soaking wet whenever you put them in. 
dry them off like that and then lay them out. You can see they're pretty pretty thin pieces of meat. So at this point you can either put seasonings on it or you don't have to if you don't want to. But look what we got in the mail. Got our mullet man spices. They will be out very soon on our website. Uh, the website is almost done. Take that off. Got your little shaker in there. I'm just going to dust these in it. The Mullet Man, the Critter Glitter is uh, really good on fish and poultry. That's why we put a turkey and a fish on the front of it. So. And that's it right there. And then you just stack you another tray on there and keep doing that process. And then I'm going to put it at 150 degrees for seven hours, five to seven hours, and we'll check it between those hours. So I'll see you guys whenever this stuff's getting ready. All right, so it's been about seven hours. It's going a lot longer than I thought it would, but there's a bunch of pieces that are done. Um, there's a few pieces that aren't quite there yet, but those bottom trays are all done. Those top ones, some of them, some of them are kind of thick and didn't dry out all the way yet, so I'm gonna let them stay on there a little longer. But I'm gonna give a piece a try for you guys. I have not tried it yet. So, see what she tastes like. Pretty good. Tastes like turkey jerky. That's really good. That liquid smoke really tastes like it was smoked on a smoker. You can't really see that. It was really good better than I was expecting. A little chewy, but it is definitely good. I'll definitely be eating it. These ones won't be going as uh, dog treats. I've had a few batches of jerky that I've made that have just turned into dog treats, but pretty good. If you shoot turkey this year, use that recipe, try it out, see what you guys think. I'm just going to let uh, these last few trays finish drying and then I'll bag it all up, freeze what we're not going to eat right now and and then save the rest for later. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next video. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and remember, eat good.